What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are picking up a G80. Now your typical YouTuber would pick up a G80 that's in somewhat reasonable condition. But um, for $10,000, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and check out a $10,000 G80 M3. And as long as honestly the drivetrain is there, whether it's blown or not, I think I'm gonna buy it. I don't really know if this is the best investment in the world, mainly because like it's pretty much stripped down. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure G80 stuff is gonna do good. And as you guys know, your boy started up a new business of his, and I think it'll be kind of cool to get a G80 in. We got a couple of 335s in. I just picked up another car, which you guys will be seeing at the shop as well, an X5 LCI um, N55. So cool stuff there. And then I'm trying to get a little bit of a variety. And then right now, obviously, the G80 M3. I said, you know what? We might have to do it. We might have to do it. So I'm gonna cop it probably just for the hype. But um, let's go check it out. on the G80. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, that is the end of the G80. Uh, you guys saw a little too much there. Um, but taking a quick pause on the G80 there, um, we do have a fancy tool they are going to be using tremendously at the shop for repairing uh, bumpers like this. And I just want to give a few seconds to shout out Mr. Car Tools for sending out this plastic welder. This is a plastic welder, a sheet metal welder. Basically, anything that's destroyed like that can get stapled back together and ready for some body work and actually usable again. Because as you guys can see, that is just in terrible condition but this bad boy right over here is gonna allow us to pretty much use these little staple pieces right on there to staple the bumper together i don't know if you guys have ever seen professionals repair bumpers but basically they'll staple the two metal pieces together before actually applying like either fiberglass or bondo over it to finish it off and make it super smooth i know a lot of people pretty much skip this step right over here i used to skip this step right over here but just bondo and just fiberglass is not going to repair this properly because this area is pretty much already broken and as you can see there's a lot of stress on this area and no no matter what, it's never going to hold its shape without it. So this little guy right over here is pretty cool. This thing's a portable plastic welding machine, plastic repair machine. Um, and as you guys can see, it just pretty much has this, a power cable, and a bunch of these bad boys. And these bad boys are what we're going to be using to actually staple this bumper together. So after playing around with the settings, I found the setting 3, which is the setting that it came on. It's probably going to be the best setting for me. I went ahead and got all these little metal things that's actually going to help me plastic weld this thing together. And as you guys can see, I just started going at it. It's very easy to use. Um, and I started to at least get the shape. That's the primary thing. I need to just kind of get the shape together, get the kind of plastics to sit together um, to where they don't flex or anything like that. The point of this is not to repair the bumper perfectly, but to get the pieces, the two plastics together, um, just pretty much prepping it for some body work. And this right here, guys, is looking so much better. Um, so yeah, it was honestly super easy to use. It was like two or three minutes, and the results honestly were really, really, really nice. If you guys wanna check out this tool, make sure to check out that first link down below. And just like that, guys, you guys saw that that bumper is now officially ready to actually get some body work done, and that one's good to go. And for somebody that's literally repairing bumpers all the time, or just trying to get things better, in a little bit better condition than they are, when they come off of some of these wrecked cars and make them actually usable i'm super happy a tool like this exists and shout out to them for sending that thing out if you guys are a body shop or honestly just want to repair your own bumpers if you have some damage to your own bumpers this tool is pretty inexpensive and i have it linked down below but without further ado let's go ahead and hop back into the g80 so you guys can actually see how i got it to that <laughs> oh no i haven't seen the car yet i I mean, I saw you yeah. driving. There's nothing to see, but there's you no gotta, car, you gotta bro. Film his reaction, there's literally <laughs> one door on the car, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what did we just get, dude? <laughs> hey, bye, bye, you're good. You're good. <laughs> and guys, we are back at the shop here at Natty Auto Parts, and we got a G80 M3, which is kind of insane to say. Like, honestly, guys, I didn't think we'd be getting a G80 M3 anytime in the you know near future, but we got our hands on one. We got an opportunity. We got our hands on one now. This one, I would say, is literally just a parts car. That's why it's in addition to our inventory here at Natty Auto Parts, so I'm very excited for that, but it's definitely, definitely uh, been kind of ran through. This car had a really bad front-end kit, 
And uh, coming around to the rear end, um, we actually bought this as kind of like a like a secondhand car because he ended up buying this car as a donor car to remove the quarter panels on both sides. Um, he ended up using the doors on the other side. He used a bunch of parts on this car. He's actually a good friend of mine as well. And uh, long story short, he took everything he needed off this car and then he's like, hey man, you want to buy the rest of it? And I was like, GDM3 man? You know, I talked to my homie and I was like, let's do it. <laughs> So what you guys are seeing right here is a, a whole lot of uh, nothing, to be honest with y'all. <laughs> so coming up to the front end, we got a really bad hit going on right over here. Um, we're gonna be pulling this engine out. We're gonna do a bunch of tests on it, compression tests. Probably even take it to a professional engine rebuilder um, if it needs you know that kind of work. We're gonna see what's going on with this engine, but for the most part, like surface level, I'm not seeing any significant damage other than a valve cover crack right up here, um, which we're probably gonna end up replacing that valve cover. Engine like this definitely deserves some love. Um, this engine only has, this whole car only has 9,000 miles on it, so it's pretty much brand new. Uh, 2021, um, this one comes with a dual clutch transmission and is the rear wheel drive model. So if you guys need any parts for any of that kind of stuff, the undercarriage is absolutely perfect. And uh, I believe we have the soft exhaust as well, right? So um, yeah, pretty excited about that. Coming around to the interior, um, like I said, guys, <laughs> this side's beautiful, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah. We got a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> so coming around to the interior, you guys can see pretty much everything stripped. Like the center console stripped. We still got the screens there. We still got the dashboard in there. Um, the headliner is out. The seats are out. So he did end up selling the front two seats. Those are like the things that everyone wants to throw in their F80s, to throw in like their G20s, I believe. Um, so yeah, everyone wants those front seats. But the rest of the interior, we got it over there. We'll show you guys that in a minute. This car comes with extended leather package, um, carbon fiber interior. This is a competition package. So it has some competition trim and a couple of the little neat goodies. Um, we have the carbon roof as well in really good shape. This rear glass, we did remove it. Um, we just put the tape on there to kind of keep it in place. And then, um, yeah, coming out to the rear end, we do have a perfect trunk. So this trunk has no issues. Tails are on here. Um, complete M3 competition trunk. We have the outer tail lights just chilling there. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, this car was not hit in the back. They just needed to use all the parts from the back. Um, so everything in the rear, rear suspension, rear exhaust, rear, um, you know, diff, brakes, wheels, perfect. All of it's perfect. The only wheel, unfortunately, that's no good. So we're not selling the wheels as a set. So if you guys need any wheels, uh, make sure to hit me up. But I'm selling them all individually. The driver's side suspension got ripped off. The caliper is good. The rotor is good, um, thankfully. But unfortunately, the wheel is, I believe, bent. Uh, but other than that, uh, let's show you guys what else we got. In. <laughs> That doesn't work. Oh, oh my lord. It's a pleasure doing business. <laughs> so anyways, guys, right over here is all the inventory that the previous owner tried to sell. So um, honestly, G80 inventory is not really the easiest stuff to sell, mainly because it's a new car and not many people really have you know, crash G80s, you know? So, um, right over here, we got a bunch of goodies. We have a G80 M3. Damn, bro, you really like me. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> that is one strong dog. She's bro. pretty strong. She's <laughs> strong. She'll knock me over. <laughs> so right over here, we have a G80 M3 steering wheel. We're gonna get everything over here a really clean detail. But this is honestly without a detail. Like that thing is mint. It does have the paddle shifting cutouts, but the paddles are not included with this wheel. It does have the heated steering function. Again, a very clean, nice wheel. We've got the beautiful stitching right around over here. M buttons. Again, super sick steering wheel. Um, these are rear M3 seats. We have the beautiful Alcantara just chilling right over here. Beautiful accents on these rear M3 seats. Again, this car also came with extended door cards, extended leather door cards, extended leather dashboard. The dashboard, unfortunately, is blown, um, but it's still gonna be up for sale because, you know, it's extended leather. It's beautiful. Uh, but right over here, we have some competition door seals. Uh, beautiful carbon fiber trim piece. We got the one on the dash. We got the one on the center console. And check this out. This is just... Straight gorgeous, like, oh man, I wish I could sock this in another BMW and I would just keep it, you know, like, wow. Anyways, <laughs> we, got the, we got the rest of the rear interior over here. Um, again, door cards, that's that wheel that got ripped off, slightly bent. Headliner is in absolute mint shape. None of the airbags are deployed in terms of the headliner, so headliner is good. Coming out over here, like I said earlier, we have both calipers, rotors, everything is good in terms of the, the, the brake system. And then, you know, we got a couple modules. Uh, I think this is literally all the modules for a G80. So if you guys got a flood damage G80, hit up Natty Auto Parts. And last but not least, we got both auxiliary, I believe these are the radiators. So we have both auxiliary radiators for the passenger and driver's side. Thankfully, again, 
undamaged. The hit was literally directly in the center, and that's why it's super bad on the front subframe. But other than that, in the front end, everything was good, including that front fender. So we do also have a fender in stock. Some other new additions to this shop. I don't know if I showed you guys in the last video. This is an LCI X5 N55 2011. Um, yeah, it's got the LCI body kit on there, LCI tails, LCI, I believe the headlights are the same to be honest, but the bumpers um, are also LCI. Checking out the interior, we do have some, uh, you know, DVD players, DVD screens for the kids, you know, the family. It looks pretty cool, it looks pretty cool, even for 2011. Anywho, so this car is going to be ready for part out. The issue with this car, um, it's got a bunch of scrapes on the whole body. Um, and other than that, I think the transmission is, and I think the transmission is absolutely terrible. Like, I got to put it manually in neutral just to get it in here. But engine's absolutely solid. N55 engine. Um, so, yeah, if you guys need parts off of this, let me know. And then right over here is our, um, pretty much our project that we are getting rid of here pretty soon. We finally finished testing this N55 and this 335i 2012 or 2011. I believe 2011 N55 drivetrain is perfect on this. This is going to be pulled out here in a minute. But anywho, you guys are here for the G80, so let's go ahead and just start taking that bad boy apart. And moments later, guys, we've got everything that was sitting over here listed up on eBay. Um, we still have a couple things right over here, a couple things over here, those things that I haven't really got quite listed up yet. Also, these taillights look like they're either spray painted or tinted, so I do need to remove those before actually listing that as well. Um, but yeah, we are working on some things, some N54 things, some G80 parts. Super excited about that. Um, we also got the ECU out as well, so this is a good ECU for those of you guys who have a bricked ECU. Um, we got one in stock. Coming around right over here, we actually started disassembling a little bit of the X5 because my boy needed a headlight um, and he also needed the front bumper. I think he also took the crash bar as well. Um, so we already started pretty much selling things behind the scenes on this. Um, I got my brother-in-law helping me out right over here, just removing some parts on the front end. Um, just pretty much trying to get everything out of the way to get this engine out because <laughs> we are super excited to see the condition of this engine and I'm pretty sure um, that's pretty much like the topic of today's video. So yeah, we got one bucket full of parts right over here. Um, this is the first bucket. We actually ended up removing the fender as well. That is a perfectly good fender. Super happy about that. Definitely needs to get cleaned up though. So we use gasoline or something. But yeah, we'll get back to you guys once we pretty much have everything else out of the way. All right guys, so we finally dropped the full exhaust out of the car. It is chilling right over here. This Honestly, this is the best looking exhaust I've ever seen in my life just because how clean it is yes it's dirty but look how easy it is to clean like this is a super clean exhaust 9,000 miles on this car we got the full thing off of it competition exhaust but we're gonna go ahead now at this point I dropped everything including the drive shaft the transmission bracket at this point guys I'm gonna go ahead and get the engine hoist on here and uh, drop this subframe because I am just super curious to see the condition of this motors fingers crossed guys this bad boy is savable
we're officially back in the shop, guys. And honestly, we knocked out so much stuff on this G80. I'm definitely gonna be taking this roof as well because it is a beautiful carbon fiber roof. And if we don't actually sell it, we'll definitely keep it for ourselves and do something cool with it. So definitely wanna take that carbon fiber roof. Um, we got pretty much everything out of this car, honestly, ready to go. Um, I actually already started ordering all the parts to fix up all the little things that are wrong with that, um, which is honestly very minor stuff. And then we're gonna be sending it off to a shop to have them do all the professional repairs. Um, and in terms of this stuff, guys, we have parts on parts on parts from the G80 that we need to go ahead and get cleaned up, listed up, and uh, that's a lot of stuff, guys. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and work on all that stuff. That's gonna be all behind the scenes and uh, just start organizing it all. So it makes life a whole lot easier um, when we actually get the order to find it. Um, but anyways, yeah, so much things going on. Just keep you guys a little bit posted on what's going on here at the shop. But the G80 stuff is, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie, getting a car in like this, um, this early into the business is honestly pretty exciting. Never actually owned a G80, never actually really got like this in depth of the G80. And honestly, just very impressed with the quality of parts on this car. And uh, just, just the fact that it's a G80, like a G80 M3 in the shop. It's pretty awesome. Looking right over here as well, this is the actual battery that came out of the G80. I believe this is the 2021 um, lithium battery. So I'm super happy that this came with the car as well. Now I'm unable to actually test it, so I'm probably gonna take it somewhere to get it tested, mainly because you can't use a normal charger to charge this. Um, so yeah, it actually says 2021 right there. So we do need to figure out a place to actually test this thing. Because for those of you guys who don't know how much that battery is, that's no $100 battery, that's not a $300 battery, that's a $1,000 battery. So that's a pretty expensive looking battery. But like I said guys, I'll come back to you guys hopefully when I get a lot more of this stuff knocked out. And guys, we are officially at the end of the video. As you guys can see, the G80 is fully stripped. I ordered everything I needed to order um, to get that like G80 engine 100% sorted, which I'm super stoked about because we're gonna have some inventory on some G80 stuff. And again, guys, if you guys don't know about the new business I started, Natty Auto Parts, make sure to check out that first link, watch the second, technically the second link down below because the first link, we gotta give it out to our sponsor for today's video. Uh, but yeah, the second link, Natty Auto Parts, make sure to check that out. A lot of the things have been going on with my life. I need to kind of keep you guys posted, but literally so much things have been going on and I haven't really had time to do YouTube unfortunately and instead of just saying there's a lot of things going on let me explain to you guys kind of what's going on so obviously you guys know I started my business and I'm trying to get that bad boy up on its feet but also while doing that I've been kind of busy um, with my home because um, I don't know if you guys can see all that kind of you know body me bada bang and everything over here there's nothing really going on over here besides this little girl uh, but long story short uh, I'm actually moving out of my place as well so I'm like, in the process of moving working on the business trying to film for YouTube. There's just so much things going on and I'm um, just trying to honestly do time management but again, this is so much things going on. So I'm going to try to keep you guys as much posted as possible and I hope I can actually stick to my word on that but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably upload a video on what's going on with this whole situation here pretty soon but just know it's all for the sake of the business. I'm just trying to put my heart and soul into this thing and I'm just trying to make sure that this 100% works because I'm not going to lie guys, if I said I wasn't stressed, I'd be lying. Uh, definitely a stressful time but just like anything else in life that's worth having. It's gonna be stressful, it's gonna be a gamble, um, and you're just gonna have to, you know, risk it. It is what it is. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the G80 content. It's kind of cool to actually have a G80 as part of our inventory, and I'm not gonna lie, the quality of parts on the G80 did go up, because I noticed with M3s, um, the quality kind of goes up, and it kind of goes down, and it kind of goes up, kind of goes down, but the G80, quality-wise, guys, it is worth every penny. That thing's amazing. Hopefully one day, you never know, I might be able to get my own G80, but in the meantime, uh, this, is as, this is as close as I'm gonna get, because <laughs> $10,000 G80. Um, yeah, we definitely know that's not going to be driving. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.